show that us dance this night away Oh, oh, Hello and welcome to a new video. I hope everybody is doing well. Today's video is the March unboxing for Illumicrate. And I'm very excited because <laughs> it just turned up today. Um, so I didn't have to wait very long to open it, but the exciting thing is, is that it's going to be a reaction because I haven't opened it. So I don't know what's in there. <laughs> so hopefully it's all good and isn't dangerous to you know show my reaction <laughs> but I've never really been that disappointed with Luma Crate boxes their items are pretty good so well, let's get into it use my trusty throne of glass sword break the seal there we go uh. Ooh, okay right so off we go over there this month's theme is Live Like Legends. <laughs> right, so let's get into it. Paper. Okay, what's this? It's a box. It's a box, it's a mug. I think this is all fandom neutral Greek god themed. So this is Mount Olympus and the Underworld collectible teapot. Hmm, okay, I thought it was going to be a mug because of the size of it it's for a teapot it's very small <laughs> Ow. These boxes are stiff. oh my god it's so cute it's so cute <laughs> it's so cute look at it <laughs> oh this is very cute and the design is lovely do you know what I can appreciate this a lot more because I've not long come back from Athens, like my first trip to Greece, first trip to Athens, so, and my March TBR theme was Ancient Greece, so this box is actually perfect, um, but right, let's show you the design, hopefully it's not too glary, but there's Mount Olympus there, so obviously Zeus in the middle. Very cool. And then we've got the underworld. So I assume that is Hades in flame. <laughs> Oops, sorry. There we go. Tree. That's that brush there. That's very weird. Yeah, it's quite cute. And then you've got the handle, design on the handle here. And the lid. <laughs> it's very, very cute. Whether I'd use it or not, I don't know. But, um, yeah, I quite like that. Put that up there for now. It can stay up there. <laughs> uh, let's see what the description says. So, uh, Realm of the Gods mini teapot. Our final item in our Greek mythology tea collection is this beautiful mini teapot featuring both Mount Olympus as well as the underworld. Uh, did I get any Greek teacups? Final item? Did I get any Greek items like this last year? Oh, I don't know. Right. Next. Oh, this is heavy. So, in a box. What is this? It's a book pop. <laughs> I think this is like my second or third book pop. Ooh, a collection of Greek myths. Ancient tales from the land of the gods. I like, it's very pretty. That's the back. Inside. Yeah, I like that. Um, can't remember, did I do ratings? Last, last year, <laughs> in last month's box. Um, but if I didn't, let's start. So with the teapot, I'm gonna give it a seven out of 10. I don't know if that's being too generous, giving it a seven out of 10, but yeah. And the book pot, I'm going to give 
an 8 out of 10. So book part. Our next collectible book part is inspired by all our favourite Greek myths and features a colour we have never included before. I like it. Okay, what's this? Please don't be a funny pack. <laughs> oh, this is cute. Ooh, okay, travel makeup bag of some sort. Tote bag. Okay, so, uh, this must be Underworld Hades inspired because I see pomegranate and snakes. Oop, so it's got this little pocket here. Handles. And where is the zip? Oh, ooh, I think it's a cooler. Because, yeah. Okay. Oh, a lunch bag. <laughs> ah, cute. Ooh, I could put my stuff in this. Ooh, okay. Okay. I'm here for it. it smells interesting. <laughs> um, but yeah, let's see. Journey to the Underworld. Got that right. <laughs> Hades. Take your lunch or snacks with you wherever you go with I think it's supposed to say with our very own but it says with very own underworld inspired lunch bag yeah, i like that so i think i mean the design is cute could do a bit more with it but i think a seven out of ten for that as well and then the last item <laughs> it's cute stickers <laughs> so greek mythology stickers Got Athena's owl there, peacock, besides trident, and key, what else is there? Flowers, golden apple, spider, I'm not sure what the spider's for. Um, I guess arachn arachna, arachnia, or something like that. It's cute. I'm not always a fan of stickers as an item in a book box because it's very, very cheap. But I do like the stickers. Um, Olympian sticker sheet. Represent your favourite gods and goddesses with this Greek mythology mythology sticker sheet. Uh, guess I'd have to say four out of ten for this. It is cute. I like it. Maybe once I get into like my annotation and well, not that I'm going to put a sticker in a book, but <laughs> um, yeah, I, I'm trying to do some more stationary type stuff, so yeah, maybe I will get into it with that. And then we move on to the book of the month, which now all books seem to come in this. Apparently it is recyclable plastic compared to the uh, yellow ones, which I don't have to hand, uh, which weren't recyclable. Um, so, yeah. I mean, I miss it because it was, it's just a nicer presentation. Oh, gosh, it stinks. <laughs> right, so, this month's book, wow. Wow, that is different to the original cover. <laughs> Lies We Sing to the Sea by Sarah Underwood. Oh my gosh, look at that. That's gorgeous. And then... Braid edges are cool, it flows with the book, so you see it flows and then it's just block on top. And then we'll look at the naked hardcover before the end paper. Ooh, nice. It's quite like a classic literature looking design. Fine. Gods feed on the terror of mortals. Ooh. <laughs> nice, nice. And then the end paper. Ooh, that's pretty. And I love how it's got foil in the artwork as well. And it's got the signature there. But oh god, I dropped it again. You can see the foil. I like that. That's different. I'm not sure if they've done anything like that before. Oh, that's so pretty. Again, they've done it here. I'm assuming these are nymphs, or nymphs, naiads, or goddesses. But yeah, I like that. 
very pretty. And that is, yeah, so that's everything. Okay, so let's read you the blurb. Hopefully you don't get distracted by the <laughs> glare or foilliness. Death was only the start of her story. In the cursed kingdom of Ithaca, each summer brings the hanging of 12 maidens, a gift to the vengeful Poseidon. 17 years, Leto has escaped the curse's mark until now. But death does not claim Leto. Instead, she wakes on a mysterious island, greeted by the immortal Melantho. She, sh she tells Leto that Ithaca's sacrifices are the legacy of the great Odysseus, payment for the lives of Queen Penelope's 12 maids cast into the ocean centuries ago. Leto has the chance to break the curse. She has the chance to kill, or well, she just has to kill the Prince of Ithaca. But Prince Matthias also seeks to free his kingdom from the curse. Torn by her growing love for both Melantho and Matthias, Leto must choose a path to follow. By breaking the curse, they will save thousands of lives, but if they fail, then the tides of fate will drown them all. So a typical Greek tale. <laughs> it sounds quite tragic. But yeah, I'm quite looking forward to reading this one, and it is oh, it's a very, very pretty book. I do like it. Didn't show you the spine either, did I? Did manage to show back. But yeah, what do you guys think of that? So, I'm going to do predictions for you, um, which I get from the lovely Autumn Reads on Instagram. So, next month's theme, or April's theme, is Be My Enemy. Um, I'll put the picture of it up here bigger for you. Uh, let's see, our featured book this month is a science fiction novel debut. In a world where the destruction of Earth and humanity was brought on by an all-powerful alien race, one girl has spent her entire life training for the moment. She can wreak revenge, but when her brother is assigned a deadly task, she knows that she must begin, begin, begin the quest for vengeance on her own. As more and more secrets come to light, will she decide that there are bigger things worth fighting for than revenge? This beautifully told story ripped us apart and had our hearts racing with twist and turn, with each twist and turn. Um, it will come with a signed book plate and features an exclusive hardback edition of a trade paperback with a shiny foil cover, digitally printed edges, foil embossing on the hardback and end paper artwork. But also it's an exclusive edition of a trade hardback. Hmm, okay. We shall see. Um, but the prediction for that is... Some Desperate Glory. So I'll put a picture of the cover up here for you. And we shall see if that is the book for April. So that has been March's Illumicrate box. What did you guys think? What did you think of the items? Um, comment down below. It'd be nice to get conversation going. Um, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please do give it a like. Subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye.